up guys, Nash here. Today we are going to uh, make meatballs in tomato sauce. So I know it's a problem always eating red meat. How do I eat red meat? You can't just always cook steaks, you can't do burgers all the time. So I'm just trying to give you an idea how can you actually uh, cook your red meat in a, in a little bit different way and enjoy your meal even more. So today we are going to, as I said, we're going to do some meatballs. I'm going to show you how to do it and uh, step by step. So uh, we're going to combine that with some rice and we're going to have a perfect meal. Now, <clears throat> we're going to start with the uh, beef. It's a beef, 5% fat, which I like to use. You can go up to 10, but you know, if, if you eat carbohydrates with your meal, you should really keep your fat intake, uh, fat contents low in that particular meal. So 5% is perfect. If you do not eat carbohydrates in that particular meal, you can go for 10-15% fat. Nothing's wrong with that. Today, because we're going to have some rice, we're going to use 5% uh, mince or uh, ground beef. Okay. <clears throat> so, I'm going to use this seasoning as well, which does um, improve the taste a lot. And also, this is another trick. I'm going to use uh, <coughs> cooking powder a little bit, because that softens the meat a lot and makes it much more tasty and much more tender later on. <clears throat> so, so what's that? Bicarbonate of soda and um, vegetable stock. Vegetable stock, correct. Yeah. That's it. Couple tricks. Well, it's all about tricks, isn't it? Yeah. So, <clears throat> this is going to be, I want to make a little bit more, but I'll tell you, um, <clears throat> this bucket is um, 750 grams, so it's probably going to be 350-ish grams of, of minced meat. That will amount to probably 70, 70 grams of protein. I'm going to take half of it. <clears throat> so as I said, we're going to put some uh, vegetable stock. Doing this actually would be a good idea to keep keep this done again. <coughs> coconut oil, my favorite cooking oil, high in MCT oils, <coughs> doesn't burn. MCT oils don't get stored as body fat, they, they usually use only for energy. So, this should be your cooking choice number one coconut oil, right? As always, make sure that you <coughs> that you don't burn your food. So try to keep your heat on medium rather than too high. Now I'm going to put a bit of uh, uh, baking powder. As I said, it improves dramatically the texture of the of the meat. So you can do burgers as well, and you put a little bit of um, baking powder, and you will be surprised how good it tastes. Now I'm also going to put a little bit of water in there much and I'm going to mix this properly until I get the texture which I desire for meatballs. Occasionally you can put an egg inside or two depending on the size of the, of the meat, the amount of the meat but today I'm not going to put any egg because we're going to have some rice with, with the uh, meatballs. So, as I said, when you have carbohydrates in that meal, keep the fat as low as possible. Because carbohydrates and fat, they don't go together. <clears throat> if you eat carbohydrates, your insulin will go up, regardless of what types of carbohydrates, slow or fast. They, they, they all have to end up as glucose, it's the only sugar that body can use, and therefore you are going to have a lot of insulin in your, in your bloodstream. But when you have insulin, when your insulin is high, you don't want to have fat present because in that case fat gets stored instantly. So, uh, yeah, carbs and protein, that's fine. Now, I'm going, to, I'm going to put a few of these meatballs. You simply roll them like that. You 
can make different size. <coughs> Again, depending on the taste, some people like them bigger, some people like them smaller. If you make them too big, they may not cook well in the middle, so don't, don't make them too big. Medium size will do the best. We don't have to use all of it because it was a little bit too much anyway. So keep stirring it. You don't want it to to burn. You can also do this in, in a little bit bigger amount and then split them to, to satisfy your needs for uh, another day or two maybe. Okay, well this is going on. We are going to use some rice. Today I'm gonna, you can cook rice in different ways. You can cook it on the, on the cooker. You can uh, you have a special uh, cooking machine for rice. But today I'm going to use uh, microwave rice simply because it's quick. Go off on this side. Takes about two minutes for this. Yeah. Hopefully the meatballs will be ready then. One. Okay, now we're gonna put some um, chopped tomatoes in there because the meatballs are almost ready. Yeah, you should really be cooking this for about five minutes in tomato sauce, so it looks already great. just simmer it so okay so um, yeah we have to change the camera by the way because uh, the other one the card was full we did quite a lot of coming today but this uh, um, this video was very good so we had to we had to keep it going yeah we had to yeah these guys, by any means necessary because <laughs> you want to eat this food you know and this yeah. is amazing I think this is almost done. That's pretty there, yeah, that's good. Yeah, you can see from the clothes if you want how that looks. Looks diabolical. Look at this. Meatballs in tomato sauce. Smells even better. High protein, low fat, yes. Alright. Now the rice is ready. Take this out. And we're gonna put this in plate now. Okay. So, uh, you see, you don't have to go to the restaurant to eat high quality food. Restaurant did it fancy, they did it nicely, but we can do it even better. And uh, obviously, this is what it's all about. So, our meatballs are ready. I'm going to put some of them in the plate. ready as well. I'm going to put the rice on the side. Yeah. 
and as you can see the meatballs are almost done now what I'm gonna do I'm gonna do my favorite seasoning which is where is this going now coconut cream coconut is here so again I like it a lot it increases the the flavor of the food just changes dramatically. You see, quite a big fan of coconut oil and coconut cream coconut. Oil. And uh, maybe, maybe just a little drop of you know me, I like hot. And uh, just a little drop of, of this hot Jamaican pepper sauce. Um, here we go, ready to rumble. So, meatballs in tomato sauce. Guys, I hope you like this video. And now you have another option, another idea how to cook your red meat, which is full of goodness, full of iron, B12, and high quality protein. Don't miss on your red meat. I know it's boring to eat steaks all the time, but now you have may, may have just discovered a miracle. So use it as often as you can and enjoy it. And I hope to see you in the next video.